winning may not be a habit for Brisbane, in fact, the AFL club can't even spell it. But the plucky Lions still gave Sydney a scare before top 5 outfit the Swans held on for a 10.7, 67-6.3, victory at a wet Gabba to maintain their 9-year hoodoo. Dane Beam's 38 touches was inspirational for Brisbane on Saturday, just days after stepping down from the captaincy due to personal issues, but it wasn't enough to stop Sydney notching their 11th straight win over the Lions. Brisbane only notched their first victory of the year last round by thrashing Hawthorne, ending an eight-game losing run and nine-year drought against the Hawks. Still, it was no excuse for not being able to spell winning, Brisbane were left red-faced after the team ran through a banner that read, Here the Gabba crowd roar as the Lions kicked the winning score, Brisbane recovered quickly as they surprisingly matched the Swans in the wet but in the end could not crack Sydney's airtight defence in front of 18,702 fans. Brisbane haven't beaten Sydney since round 22, 2009. The match began with plenty of spice, with a string of melees marring the first term as Sydney held on for a 3.0, 18, to 2.2, 14, buffer. Isaac Heaney kicked back-to-back -back goals as the Swans grabbed an 18-point halftime lead after restricting Brisbane to one behind for the second term. Star Lance Franklin kicked his first goal of the match, and sole major for the game, in the third term as the Swans led 8.6, 54, to 4.7, 31, at the final interval. Brisbane surged in the last quarter but Kieran Jack iced Sydney's fourth win in five games with a major from a costly 50 meters penalty by Jared Berry in the final minutes. Beams, 16 contested possessions, 5 inside 50s, 9 clearances, 6 scoring involvements, 1 goal, Ruckman Stefan Martin, 58 hitouts, and Mitch Robinson, 35 touches, 7 tackles, were inspirational for the hosts. For Sydney, Josh Kennedy had 34 disposals, 23 contested possessions and 6 tackles while Heaney, Will Hayward and Ben Ronke kicked 2 goals each.